What is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So an outfit video, it has been a long time since the last one. And I just literally did this off the vibe of today. I came up with these fits today, kind of on the spot. I just thought it's been such a long time. I haven't filmed one of these videos. So I just wanted to come up with, I have maybe like five fits. I think I have five fits, something like that. And I'm just gonna show you guys them and really there's nothing much more to it. I'll tell you guys what I'm wearing and then I'll just show me wearing it. And these clips are really casual and I just thought it's a good vibe since, you know, then you guys can kind of see how the clothes look when they're moving kind of in a natural way, you know? Anyways, let's get on to the fits. So for the first outfit, I'm gonna be wearing my Namacheco Paiyu jacket, this green one, probably my favorite piece of clothing. And then for the bottom, I'm going to be wearing my Namacheco shield trousers, a recent pickup. In this fit, the clothes kind of speak for themselves. The pants just complement the jacket in my opinion. And the DR Darby's just go well with the pants. These are the DR Darby's I was talking about. Really can't explain too much. And this is how it fits. So the next fit is just full Rick, uh, Rick Owens tote bag, dark shadow, drop crotch trousers, and this champion and Rick Owens mountain hoodie, and these Rick Owens granola leather sandals. And then I'm wearing my Kama wear hood. I just think it's a casual outfit, has the Rick vibe to it, and then just the sandals and the hood give it a different kind of vibe in my opinion, so it doesn't go fully in that Rick aesthetic, in my opinion. Anyways, this is how the fit looks. So for the next outfit, I'm gonna be wearing my Gucci metal logo jeans, skinny jeans. So we have some skinny vibes in this video also. I've been really digging uh, slimmer pants recently, but you know, sometimes it's baggy. You know, just switch the vibe once again, just keep stuff interesting. These keep stuff interesting. And uh, then for the bottom, I'm wearing my Doc Martens 1460s monochromatic colorway. And then a black t-shirt. The pants are obviously the loud part in the outfit and I just wanted to keep everything else tamed down. Wanted the fit to have kind of a slim aesthetic and I think it does that job pretty well. Anyways, this is how it fits. Jock mousse, light blue denim, favorite color, needles, bandana for one accessory, Craig Reeve bag, one of my best purchases, absolutely amazing. And then DMA hiking boots, basically creates the vibe in this outfit or it makes it look more unique in my opinion. Like if I would put just sneakers, it would just be a pretty basic outfit. And this was completely a random outfit. I've never worn these pieces together. <laughs> Anyways, this is how it looks. For 
the next outfit, this is a really good day-to-day -day outfit. All the clothes are really comfortable. This is one of a staple outfit recently for me. I just switched the shoes up, but I'm wearing my uh, Pico Kostadinov and Asics jacket, Alique's tactical pants, Craig Green bag. As you can see, all the materials are pretty shiny, so it kind of gives a unique look. Anyways, this is how it looks. So the next outfit is gonna be slightly more formal, if I may. I'm gonna be wearing my Isimiyaki on please blazer, trees, floral pants, one of my favorite pants, a white linen shirt, a basic white linen shirt. You can find these pretty much anywhere. This is pretty slim cut. I like my shirts to be that way, unless it's gonna be a boxy shirt. Then my Aliques Leopard loafers have the buckle on it. Pretty cool shoes. I just think this is kind of a unique way of dressing a bit more formal. The pleats blazer kind of gives it a more flowy vibe so it's not really structured like normal year. Tailoring is, in my opinion, still isn't really that loud. It's still kind of a chill look in my opinion. But anyways, let's get onto the fit. For the last outfit, this is one of my staples also in my wardrobe. I'm going full leather with my vintage leather jacket, made in Finland vintage leather jacket. That's pretty cool in my opinion. It has a beautiful cut, really like this jacket. Found it at a thrift store over here at Finland. Then my vintage leather pants, also found these at the thrift store. These just fit really good. I love these leather pants, so lucky to come across them. Louis Vuitton trainers to kind of tame it down. Kama wear hood, basically this balaclava hood. You guys have probably seen this multiple times. A perfect accessory. And then obviously the Craig Green bag. Like I said, this is one of my staple outfits in my wardrobe. Really like this look, fits me really good in my opinion. And I just like to use full leather in a lot of different variations because I think it's a really cool look if you can pull it off. Anyways, here's the look. Before I end the video, technically you can add this to the fits as well. I'm wearing vintage jeans, uh, Rick Owens sandals, vintage leather jacket, and these are the Rick Owens shades. And one thing also, this is one thing I've kind of came up with. Uh, as you can see, I've buttoned this leather jacket kind of weirdly. I kind of tossed this, this side over to the chest pocket over here. So, you know, it just fits kind of more short, just better in my opinion on the waist. I've done this same thing with a Levi's denim jacket. I can show you guys a picture here. Anyways, you guys can try it out. I've never seen anyone do it. I just kind of came up with it randomly. So try it out and let me know. <laughs> so those were all the outfits I've got to show you guys. I can do these videos really often. So if you guys like this video, make sure to let me know. I literally have so many fits that I could make a ton of these videos. It's, it's not to brag or anything. I just thought about it today and I was like, I could really do a lot of these videos. So if you guys like these, just let me know. I can do these a lot or styling videos in general, if you guys want that type of content. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I have a new vlog coming out soon. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Anyways, I'll catch you guys really soon.